Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading for March. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. All right, Cancer. If you like this reading, any kind of interaction with it, whether it's a like or a comment or a subscribe, will add your energy to the collective pool. And it's just going to make it easier for me to read for everybody just a little bit better. Okay. Now, your herbal astrology. Beautiful. These cards are just stunning. Blue Lotus intuition. Quite perfect, is it not? And then we have New Moon in Aries. Go for it. All right. Let, let me grab the book for the Blue Lotus. All right. Now, the Blue Lotus is the perfect combination between the sun energy and the moon energy. Right, which is your physical reality and your emotions, your intuition. Um, this talks about intuitive knowing, unearthing the subconscious, dream work and initiation. The blue lotus is a direct doorway, a mediator into the world of the gods. The perfected balance that it bestows us assists us in bridging and refining the divine connection between the heart and the brain. Blue Lotus is assisting you in widening the portals of your intuitive powers, granting you access to the realms of inner knowledge held within the great mystery. Remember, the Lotus rises from the depths of muddy waters, untouched and impeccable to blossom into majestic beauty. Don't allow the muddy waters of the blossoming process to suppress your intuition and belief in yourself. Trust the process and believe in the mystery. Listen deeply to the guardians of mystery as you unfold from the darkness. Some of you have been through a whole lot to get here, to get to where you are. And sorry for the interruption, I got a call. I was saying this difficult journey that you have taken, uh, cancer, has beautified you. It's beautified your spirit and externally and internally as well. Some of you may literally be starting a new exercise regime and it's been, in, it's been difficult for you. You may be starting a new diet. You may be pushing your body to its limit in order to reach a certain goal. But, and even in relationships, I feel like you may have been, I'm getting very 10 of wands energy. You've been doing all the grunt work, right? And it's just made you a more wholesome being. And if you've been through any kind of heartbreak, if you've been through any kind of disappointment, you were meant to go through it. I know, it sounds very, very harsh, but you were meant to go through it because it's made you into the person you are today. And it's given you a confidence. It's given you this sense of wonder that if I could go through that, I can go through anything. I can do anything. Okay, let's see. Beautiful card to start with. We have the world closing out a chapter and starting a brand new one. The star, two major arcana right off the bat. Aquarius energy, healing, wishing upon a star and having that wish come true. Okay, one after the other, the death card. <sighs> Massive transformation. Okay, I, I can't. That's literally all major arcana. This is not even a monthly reading. I feel like this is this is a few months all, all sewn in together. This is major. This is a major, major energy. Wow. It's left me breathless. Let's keep going. The Six of Wands, victory, success. Yeah. Okay, no. This is too much. This is way too much. The Emperor, you have too many major arcana. I think I'm going to cry. I swear to God, this hasn't happened in a very long time, if not ever. The Ace of Wands, beautiful energy. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Swords. Yeah, I need to take a breath as well. Nine of Wands, King of Cups, Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands. The Blue Lotus is the most important card in your spread today, Cancer. You've been through a whole lot, my friend. And I feel like you deserve this. You deserve the Six of Wands, Ace of Wands energy. You have successfully cu cut out something very toxic from your life. Eight of Cups and the world. 
you've walked away from something that at some point seemed um seemed to be home for you i'm getting something that was the world for you you've you've walked away from it and it took all your strength to do so and when you did when you did walk away from it i just saw the judgment when you did walk away from it you made space for something that truly matches your frequency eight of wands and the star what did i say it makes room right it makes room for growth it makes room for healing it makes room for conversations that you actually want to have not conversations that you're forced to have the death card eight of pentacles this transformation wasn't a tower moment it was something that you had to truly truly work on this 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 isn't something that landed in your lap it's something that required like i said earlier a whole lot of grunt work and with the moon card you had to face your fears you had to face so many fears to get here cancer you deserve that blue lotus man those waters that you were in were not murky they were downright toxic and like they say dirtier the water the more beautiful the lotus feel like you had to face a lot of traumas and triggers which is why now there's a bounce in your step why is the devil here the knight of cups for some of you this is literally just a capricorn coming towards you with a cup of love but for the others i feel like you are making sure that the cups of love that are offered to you now carry no trace of poison because been there done that right there's a new filtration system in place you're being very careful about who you invite into your life why is the 6 of wands here the 7 of wands and you're not settling you're not settling you want to be seen for who you are like i said but at the same time your definition of victory has has shifted what you felt was a prize back then is not anymore you're setting your standards higher the benchmark is higher to please a cancer now is going to be a lot more difficult than people initially thought you're not settling for breadcrumbs you're standing your ground because after everything that you have been through you realize what you deserve two cards fell on the ground I'm going to put them back in the deck. It was the page of cups and the judgment card. So an apology may be due to you and I feel like it's on its way. Why is the emperor here? The 9 of wands. Let me get one more for this. The 6 of swords. For some of you, I feel like you're either just moving on from an Aries, it is possible for the others, you're moving on from this sense of ego. right 7 of pentacles 5 of swords and the devil and you're moving away from short sightedness now the emperor can be very controlling this could be even your energy or it could be the energy of the person you're dealing with but this sense of always having to like i said earlier always having to stand your guard always having to protect yourself always having to put boundaries up it was too much work i need one more here the queen of swords and you're cutting this out i feel like you're not operating from a place of pride right you're not you're operating more from a place of logic it's like the filtration system that i was talking about it's like you're filtering out that lake that you've grown out of right you're making your environment a little less messy you're making your environment pure and beautiful nine of pentacles ten of cups and till you cards are being very strange sorry till you um absolutely sure about what it is that you want in your life and what it is that you're inviting in your life you're single right you you're just depending on your own energy to fulfill you and you're very comfortable with that why is the hermit here nine of pentacles again it wanted to show up again the hermit is isolation and isolation not isolation um just for the heck of isolating yourself isolation because you enjoy your own company isolation because you are the only constant in your life and the first and foremost relationship that you need to nurture before inviting another one in is a relationship with yourself because it's been the most long standing so this is very healthy two of cups eight of swords nine of swords yeah you don't want to invite in 
situations and people that again muddy those waters you know what i mean the two of swords i wanted to place this right here and again there's an eclipse on the two of swords why is this here with the death card again right under it my goodness you know your healing seven of swords page of cups judgment you know your healing and whatever apologies come your way now you're not trusting them i'm not saying you shouldn't okay some of them could very well be very genuine but there is more work that you have to do within your own self cancer with the death card showing up twice all of this has happened for a reason right and you know it your intuition has told you that you've been put on this path for a reason before you can go for it and have that bounce in your step you need to be completely and unapologetically comfortable in your own skin the knight of swords wanted to show up why is the ace of wands here <sighs> this reading this reading is making me so emotional i can't even this is the brand new start that you want with the ten of freaking cups the emperor the world four of pentacles you deserve this you deserve this happily ever after i want a new bottom of the deck nope not happy with that there we are ace of pentacles with the two of cups i feel like you've been to war not just with yourself but if this was love for you if this was a relationship for you you've been at war and now you're having the most beautiful homecoming ever you deserve this happily ever after and it's coming in my friend wow what a reading what a phenomenal reading I'm almost feeling like this is a massive chapter that you have closed out cancer. This is not just another day in cancer's life. This is this is major. March is going to be very transformational for you. And there are a lot of eyes on you, but good eyes, you know? Cuz cuz people are seeing you blossom people are seeing this glow up after everything that you've been through it's almost like you've been stuck in your room crying your eyes out and they've been puffy for months but you have one little spa day and you're radiant cuz you've released all those toxins you've cleansed yourself it's almost this cathartic experience that has completely shined you up it's buffed you up into this beautiful person inside and out So now you are attracting the right energies in energies that are stable and passionate and for the long term absolutely priceless reading I can't even don't be afraid to be alone just for a little while you know go for that spa day alone don't take a friend be your own best friend for that day because I'm getting emotional because you've been your best friend through this treat yourself okay i'm going to i'm going to stop recording cuz i need to have a good long cry <sighs> beautiful reading cancer i hope this helped you guys sorry about the meltdown i will see you in the next one bye bye